Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. For those of you who are returning, Oliver and I are so thankful for you. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is Oliver, you guessed it. And we are happy you stopped by as well. Today I'm participating with my original collaboration group in a fruit themed DIY playlist. So I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. Oh, you guys, so for this DIY, I created this decal off my Cricut. I, I am going to use these strawberries I got from Amazon. This lemon I got from Amazon as well. This sign from Dollar Tree. And then my Waverly chalk paints in the color white and Nimbus, but I do actually switch out the Nimbus. And then I'm going to use my Apple Barrel paints in the color pink blush, light yellow, and then Folk Art Flag Red, I believe it's called. So I'm just starting off by removing those pieces that were on the front, and then I removed the glitter as well. And then I'm taking my Nimbus and I'm painting around the edges of this uh, mug, but it was too light, so I changed it out for Waverly Silver Lining. Um, which I liked much better and then after that I'm taking my it is actually apple red by folk art and light yellow by apple barrel and mixing the two to color two two together <laughs> until I got the color I wanted and then I'm just painting right in the middle of this mug that color because I wanted this to look like pink strawberry lemonade and um because the decal I made is going to be a recipe for a strawberry lemonade punch. So then I'm painting a straw here and I just made, um, use my ruler to make some diagonal lines to go from that top part of the straw down to the this lemonade. And then I'm using my white and I'm just going and making some um, of the like the the rims around a mason jar now I had a picture of what the front side of this looked like before I tore everything off of it um, and I'm just kind of going by that picture of what of how they had it painted and just kind of um, trying to copy that I had it sit next to me on my laptop and so I'm just um, I colored some white in around the handle and then I'm adding a little white inside of the um the lemonade here just to kind of give it that look of being a drink and then after this you guys this is where the trouble began so i got my words here it says strawberry lemonade punch and i'm going to add it to the top and i also created the recipe now i don't know why i do this to myself I know whenever I make something that has small letters, it's gonna take forever. And I don't know why I did this, but I did. But it took me over an hour to weed this recipe. And then I finally got it all done, got my letters all in place because of course weeding, sometimes some of the letters come off when they're this small and stuff. So I'm all happy and I'm trying to get this all onto the transfer tape and some of the letters kept trying to come off. So I'm sitting here trying to burnish it onto the transfer tape. I'm working at it, working at it. And I'm just struggling. I end up having some watch. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a I or a T or something stuck to my spatula there and I had some still stuck on the the backing so I thought okay well I'll just um, work at getting these in place so I'm sitting there trying to put these in place and then I don't know if you notice here but my hand is sitting on the the letters and I go to move, move my hand and it's pulling up the letters I worked and worked and worked finally got them all on there thought I had all my letters on there it looked great I go to put it on and I pull off my transfer tape and I notice I have like three or four missing letters and I could not find it. I looked all over for the life of me and I ended up finding one that night on my hand when I was in the pool. I looked and there was a, I was on the side of my hand. I have no idea how it got there. I know it wasn't there before because I searched my whole arms and everything for those Anyways, back to the video. It drove me nuts. But anyways, I pushed through it. Um, I'm just hot gluing those lemon, the lemon and strawberry pieces on. 
And just to let you know, I did use my white paint marker to write in those letters that are missing. <laughs> So I took some of this red and yellow uh, cotton twine I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just um, wrapping it around the top part there and then I took some of this raffia, this green raffia, and I'm going to take some of the regular color raffia and add them together and then tie them together with some jute twine and then I just kind of give it a little haircut on the ends, I trim it up on the ends and then I'm going to hot glue this to the top of that lemonade. And then after that, I took one of those little strawberries and I'm gonna hot glue it to the middle there. And then I just covered up the back with some shipping paper and trimmed it all down. And then once that was done, I took some more of this twine and I'm gonna make a hanger out of it. And I'm just measuring it here. I'm gonna cut them down to, to the size that I want. And I'm using a tapestry needle here to um, thread those yarn pieces through the hole. And then I'm just going to tie a knot, and that's all there was for this. This, oh my goodness, I think it's really cute, but it took me all freaking day because of that one recipe. <laughs> but I do intend to try this recipe. I haven't tried it yet, but it sounds really good and really easy. So, um, And I will have a link to that recipe in my description box below. Okay, today's challenge is the Sweet Summertime Challenge, and it is hosted by my sweet friend Krista with Krista's Crafty Life and co-hosted by my other sweet friend Jackie with Jackie Burns Creations. This is my original group, guys, and they, these ladies all mean the world to me, so make sure you check out their channels and check out the playlist. I will have links to all of them in my description box below. So DIY number two. And by the way, the theme is fruits for this uh, playlist. <laughs> so my, uh, I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Um, this decal I printed off my Cricut and this napkin I got from decoupagenapkin.com. These two utensils from Dollar Tree and the cutting board from Dollar Tree. So I start off by cutting out that middle picture from this napkin. Now, um, this napkin has two extra plies behind it. So um, when you see me removing the plies, I did remove all or both plies. So once I had that out, I removed the backing, the plies, and I am just um, laying it where I want it. Then I put some Mod Podge down and I'm going to use um, my plastic wrap. I'm going to lay my napkin on top of the Mod Podge and then I'm going to use my plastic wrap to tap it down um, that way glue doesn't stick to my fingers and it doesn't stick to that napkin. And then I went and put Mod Podge over it as well. And once I had that set aside to dry, I cut out some more of that napkin and I'm just going to add it here to my spoon. And I did this to the other um, utensil as well. And then I'll just cover it with Mod Podge and then I'm just going to cut out um, some of the border that was on that napkin. and. Uh, Mod Podge it onto the handle of the spoon and the other utensil. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you like today's video and you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then I would invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. I would love to have you join. And then let me know in the comment box you're in here and that you're new. I'd love to get to know you. And for all of you guys, if you like today's video, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment because as you know, it does help my channel grow. I know I sound like a broken record, right? <laughs> but also make sure you have those notification bells set. I do upload on normal day is Monday at uh, 5 central time. And then I do participate during the week on some different challenges. So once I had that all done and they were dried, I added my saying to the bottom of the cutting board. It says, life is sweet. And yes, that one gave me a problem too. Oh my goodness, I was having a day. So I took some Mod Podge, went over it, let it dry, and then I decided to add some ribbon around this. Now, you're gonna see this ribbon all the way through, but the next day I woke up and I thought, I don't know if I really like that ribbon. So I did change it out for some 
red gingham ribbon that I use here in a minute to make a bow. Um, so you'll see that in the picture afterwards, but I, I did the same thing. I just go around this um, cutting board with it and hot glued it in place. And um, then I'm just going to add my utensils to the top here, just kind of like you see there. And then I'm gonna hot glue them in place. And I'm gonna hot glue the spoon. I don't know what that bottom one is. It's not really a fork and it's not really a spoon. I don't know what that other <laughs> utensil is. I keep calling it a utensil. <laughs> and then I just tack them down um, to that cutting board and which I probably should have done before. <laughs> I took, I uh, hot glue them to the top. Man, I was having a day, oh my goodness. So here is that uh, ribbon that I use. I make a bow, but that's what I change it all all out for I think and I think I like it better with the the check ribbon but then after I um, dovetail the ends of this I'm gonna hot glue it right to the top and then I am going to add a couple more of those strawberries on the corners on each corner of the cutting board and that's all there is for this I think this turned out really cute uh, it to me it looks very summery with all the strawberries. In fact, I'm really craving strawberries now. I think, and I think I have some in the refrigerator. I'm gonna have to go look. <laughs> so you have to let me think, uh, let me know what you think about this. Do you like this ribbon better or did you like the other ribbon? Um, I don't know, this I, to me, the check gives it a little bit more of a country look, which I really like. So make sure you're following me on social media. If you're not, you can find the links to my social media accounts as well as other accounts I'm affiliated with in my description box below in the link tree. So now it is time for a celebration of your recreation. And I received a, an email from Jamie. Oh, you did a wonderful job. I love that little package stand you have. And look, she did a wreath with those coaster flip flops. Awesome job, J uh, Jamie. And then. I hope I say your name right, Chris Borg. She is from Iceland. She sent me these pictures as well, and they are amazing. Thank you so much for sending me the, your pictures. If you have some pictures of recreations or creations that you have made and would like me to share them, you can email them to me or send them to me through Facebook Messenger or Instagram, and there's links to all of those in the description box below. And here's DIY number three, super easy DIY, you guys. I used one of these jars I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, the strawberries I got when they were on sale at Hobby Lobby. I got, I'm gonna use my ivory chalk paint by Waverly and then some assorted flowers from Dollar Tree. So I started off, I wiped down my jar, cleaned it real good, and then I'm painting it with that ivory now. I don't know if it's because the ivory is getting old and it's thick, but I just did not like the way the paint turned out. It was very clumpy and had a lot of ridges and stuff. So I thought, hmm, how can I fix this? So I took my finger sander and I just started making these scuff marks and I really, really liked it because it really kind of makes it look old and I just loved that because that's that rustic look. So um, I just went around the whole jar with my um, finger sander there and just rushed, rushed, roughed it up in spots. And then after that, I took some of this, more of this ribbon and I'm just gonna hot glue it around the, the top there. And then I am going to make a finger bow and add that as well. And this ribbon, I believe I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby last year. So after I make my finger bow here, which I'm gonna show you, it's super easy. It's not really a finger bow, it's just a regular shoestring bow. Um, I'm just going to dovetail the ends and then I'm gonna hot glue it there in the front. Actually, I think I turn it around a few times um, and I think I decided to hot glue it at the seam where I or the two um, ribbons met and then after that I'm gonna take some of these flowers and I'm just going to use um, my wire cutters and cut cut them down and start putting them in place and so I put I think 
three picks of the daisies and then a few picks of those frosted yellow flowers that you get um, from Dollar Tree and I don't they don't call them flowers I think they just call them greenery bushes or something um, but I add those in and then I took some of there was a few more picks of daisies and I just took the daisies and the leaves off and I'm just using the the pick part of them and I am just going to take those strawberries I took three and I just poked the pick through the bottom of the strawberry and I'm just going to add three strawberries right into uh, with those flowers and that's all there is for this one I it's super easy but I absolutely love how this came out and it will look so cute in a kitchen oh I guess I didn't I forgot I added a few strawberries here of, of those little plastic strawberries I got from Amazon so I just put three um in on the front there and that's all there was for this and I really love this too I think it's so simple but yet so pretty you'll have to let me know what you think about this as well and if you like any of these, if you're going to recreate them yourself, I'd love to know. And I'd love to see pictures. <laughs> so here's the final reveal of the final three. I only got three for you guys. I had such a, such a bad day when I made these. I was struggling so much. So I just said, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> and then I went and jumped in the pool to relax. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And make sure you guys hit that like and comment. And I will be back, I believe, um, tomorrow with another video. So with all that being said, you guys have a great day. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.